My name is Msangani, his father Msangani Sidlamini. Uh, so I came to St. Mary's about four years ago. And for myself, I found that the organ uh, of St. Mary's, the pipe organ that was here, had been lying broken. Almost six years ago, there was a major storm in Peter Marisburg, which totally destroyed our pipe organ. At that point in time, the person, the, the referral person that I found was Mr. Hill, who was, who was a known organist. Unfortunately, now he is late. Mrs. Hill brings in uh, uh, Werner with, he, with, with his team. pleased me about him was, and, and his team was, they were young, so there's longevity and sustenance of these projects. We arrived on the scene with Mrs. Rose Hill, who was, was very dear to us in, uh, after the unfortunate passing of Mr. Hill, to uh, recommend us to St. Mary's, and that's where our journey began. He's a very innovative man with his team, so they found us a church in Pretoria. Uh, we are grateful to them for they offered us uh, this new machine according to Mr. Werner's assessment. I first came to St. Mary's one morning and attended a service to listen to the congregation, how they sing, what the acoustic sounds like in the building. And from there I started to listen to the sound of the Kaxel and Miro organ in my head and, and start to fathom what will it sound like in this building. And then I went to Father Lamina, I said to him, I'm sure we're gonna be able to help you and to deliver a beautiful instrument with relocating this organ to your church. Uh, it will definitely fit into the church architecturally and it will also sound beautifully. Donating the organ was something that happened in, in conjunction with the organ builders, actually. They approached us originally and, um, and asked if we still used the organ. Our role within this whole relocation process was to facilitate both parties to, to identify an organ for St. Mary's and also to facilitate that process with Gags on Armida and with St. Mary's and how to introduce them to one another. The organ builder approached KSM and, and asked whether we would be willing to donate it to, to a Roman Catholic church. And the answer was, of course, yes. this congregation since I was a student. Mar Ekes Enfikri in the Freistaat Gebore. And I was one of the Roomse Gefaar in the Vroer Da. And so this coming together of um, the Dutch Form Church, which has presented the organ, and the Catholic Church, which has accepted it. Since I first heard of it some months ago, I keep thinking about it with such joy. It is really amazing to see how the two communities work together so that St. Mary's now have this rebuilt organ. It's a reimagined organ. And the pipe organ is here. It's beautiful. There's a lot of vavavum in it. This made a massive change to our, the way we worship. It is very important as much as we have readings and we pray, but music forms a 
the greater part of worshipping. I'd like to say how wonderful it has been to play this organ today here at St. Mary's Catholic Church in Peter Maritzburg. Uh, the organ has been fully restored and it really, really sounds so beautiful. I was really quite impressed with the, the variety of sounds and textures. The gift of music is something so beautiful because it helps people through worship find a new way to express themselves and their love for God. It's just such a winner, such a powerful instrument that uh, is going to help a lot of souls, depressed people, people who want to celebrate life, people, whatever situation, emotional situation you will uh, need to deal with, come into this church, here is the pipe organ, it's gonna help you.